The Church of the Force is a body of individuals who believe and study the Force. But where did they come from? Hello Star Wars fans, my name is Joe Robinson and this is Day 8 of the 16-day video countdown to Rogue One. The Church of the Forest was a group of loosely affiliated individuals who spread across the galaxy. The commonality between all the different churches is that they respected the Jedi and worshipped the Force and the power that came from it. However, when Emperor Palpatine transformed the Galactic Republic into the Galactic Empire at the end of the Clone Wars, he orchestrated the near-complete annihilation of the Jedi Order, and with it he banned all from the study and worship of the Force, and made it treason to disobey his decree. One notable Church of the Force member who lived during this time was the explorer Lor Santeca. Santeca traveled the galaxy after the rise of the Empire, on the belief that the Emperor's claim that the Jedi had attempted to assassinate him at the end of the Clone Wars was false. Many believers in the Force sought him out through the Empire's reign, wishing to share in his knowledge and join his gathering of believers. On the sacred desert moon Jedha, an ancient Jedi temple, the Temple of Wills, sat, pointing heavenward in one of Jedha's most notable settlements, the Holy City. Due to Jedha's strong ties to the Force and the Jedi, many believers took pilgrimages to Jedha to learn about the Force. These pilgrims learned from spiritual priests and monks, like Chirrut Imwe. However, due to Jedha's close ties to the Jedi and the Force, the Empire eventually took it over. The Empire occupied the moon in order to gain access to the giant kyber crystals underneath its surface. In Jedha's holy city alone, churchgoers were able to continue to believe and worship the Force, if only because a majority of the people there believed in the Force. Instead of destroying the entire church, the Empire allowed it and put stormtroopers in the streets to make sure there was order and imperial control was maintained. However, some worshippers of the Force, like the villagers of Lor Santeca's Tuanal Church village on the planet of Jakku, were not pacifists. They took up arms against the Empire and formed a rebellion. Church members did agree with Jedi tenets, like pacifism and solving things diplomatically, but if they were not given an option, it was okay to defend yourself and the others from evil, but only if given no other choice, or if prompted by the Force itself. This is what we see with the monk Chirrut Imwe, as he continues to fight even though blind. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you need more Star Wars. A special thank you to Calvin Schubert who also wrote this video. Be sure to check out his Twitter and all his work on Wikipedia. And as always, may the Force be with you.